Jonah said, hey. So I know this looks a little different. Everybody remember Jonathan. Hello. And this is the new addition, Jonah. And we have Motor here, but Motor is, yeah. Pick, yeah like, oh, he, oh, he don't want to be on camera. He got, he got warrants. <laughs> he got warrants. Kitty warrants. So I know it's been a while. We haven't done a video in so long, but it's been a lot going on. So I'm just going to keep everybody up to date with what's been happening. So number one, the surgery went good because we left off on that. Everything's good with the surgery. Yeah. Everything's fine. Health is clear. And then May last year, we found out we were pregnant. <laughs> so yeah, so that it's been a while since, oh, he's been, ooh, it's been a while since we recorded anything, but now we're here. So I just wanted to keep some of you guys up to date because I did get some messages from some people and I was surprised because I didn't think anybody cared. So I did get some messages from people saying like, when are you guys going to like vlog again? So we're vlogging now, especially now because of the pandemic going on, like mm -hmm. we're all dealing with this and it's something we do want to talk about because we are new parents and this is, it's kind of difficult to deal with right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's rough. Yeah, it's rough. I mean, I think we're doing good for what's going on for the first time and not having like any help. So, I mean, we have family and friends that are helping as they if, like, you know, with doing what they can do from a distance. But yeah, it's, it's been interesting. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we just wanted to like, you know, say hi to you guys and start off the vlog that way. And, you know, just let you guys know what we've been up to. But this is Jonah. Say I was born on the 31st, 2020. And then the pandemic happened, right? The pandemic. But yeah, do you have anything you want to? I can obviously edit. <laughs> no. 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 I'm too tired. <laughs> I don't know what to say. And Jonathan's tired, so it's not much that's gonna come out of him right now. <laughs> we all just we're tired, so right? They were tired. Motor's tired. The cat's tired. Everybody's tired. He's getting tired. I'm getting tired. Yeah. You want to tell everybody what's going on? By the nope. way, <laughs> oh, he don't want to tell nobody nothing. He's tired too. He's three months now. So it's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. Like mm -hmm. I said, he's born in January 31st. So like he's literally three months. So he, it's, we're late on vlogging and everything, but we're going to try to like stay up to date with you guys, let you guys know what we're doing. And Please drop a comment below if there's people out there with some children as well. How are you guys dealing with everything? Are you guys letting family members like come to the house? Like how's everything going? Like, please like drop a comment below because I would like love to hear what's going on and how you guys are doing because it is really hard to do it 24 seven. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you talk on that part. <laughs> I mean, it is because not only like between working, raising a child, Trying to stay safe too as well. Mm -hmm. It's it's not easy. Uh -uh. And you want me to tell my work? Yeah. You want me to tell them? Yeah, you want to bring it up? Or you want to say what you do? I'm like, I don't know, whatever. You don't got to tell them exactly what. I'm going to edit this out. I mean, yeah. I mean, luckily, I'm blessed enough that I'm able to work from home. So I get to be here and look at the positive side of things and get to spend more time with him. Yeah. Right. yeah, gotta take the good with the bad. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest, I've been for load, so I haven't been laid off or anything. Like, my boss wants me back. Um, it's just the date because I'm in the health field, and you know, certain hospitals are not doing certain things, like you know, certain testing. So, if they don't have certain testings that need to be done and they're like elective, so they're not like big deals then it's like they don't need people like me to, you know, talk to the patients, call them up and, and you know, and get check their insurance and schedule them or anything like that because no one's going to be going. But they are trying to just see how everything's going with the hospitals and everything and see, you know, when we can have a projected date to come back. Um, the crazy thing is I was on maternity leave before, you know, obviously this went down. January 10th, I left work. It was like my last day. He didn't come on time, which was the 24th. He came a week later. So when he came, everything was fine. Family got to get to see him, which was perfect. Then all this happened 
March 13th, 12th or whatever, I remember, then he started working from home and I got the phone call that there's no need for me to come back mm -hmm. April 6th. So that was kind of rough because like the, the income is definitely going to be different. It is different. And we had to think quickly because we got new, we got products we got to get for him now. It's not just ourselves, diapers, wipes, all that. Things are flying off the shelf. Mm -hmm. Not to mention food. Not to mention unemployment is through the roof. So it's like it's a lot. It's it's a lot. So I really do want people to you know comment below and tell me how they're doing because, as you know, when women do have babies for the first time or second, third, whatever, your hormones are through the roof. <laughs> so. A lot of things, you know, you start thinking things and you start crying and there's a lot to think about. So, I mean, we've been doing good, but, you know, it's a lot. So, but basically, um, that's how we've been doing so far. I take care of him throughout the day. Um, and he, since he works from home, it helps because he comes in the room and, and helps whenever he can. So, like, if I need something to eat, he'll make something to eat or... You know, he can feed them, if he can burp them, if he can do this. So it helps out because he doesn't have to go to work and we don't have to worry about him getting sick. Um, and yeah, at night then we just, we do it together or whatever. So let me know how you guys are doing, you know, if you're working from home or whatnot. Because uh, that would be interesting to find out. Like tricks and things that we can do. If you guys have any like tips and you know, how you are surviving during this time with kids at home. But um, we're not going to talk, talk talk your ear off. The cat is, is acting up right now, so it's time for us to go. Um, I might try to throw in some things in here. It depends on how tonight goes. But um, in the meantime, just want to tell you guys to stay safe. And I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. Stay, stay safe. Oh, sign language. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. <laughs> I think that's it. Yep. You want to end it? Or? Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Yes. Hey guys, here's some footage from the day Jonah was born. Has some videos of me and Jonathan holding him for the very first time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's give you some CPAP, huh? 